A lot of people don't get too excited about their goals because they don't think they deserve them. That's quite a claim, isn't it? Still, it rings true for a lot of people. Today, we're going to talk about something that is both deep and empowering, how to believe in yourself. Now, let's look at the Sigma female, a unique archetype known for being independent and able to do things on her own. She moves like a wolf, following her own path. Self-belief, on the other hand, can come from the fact that she is independent. She doesn't need the pack to make her feel good about herself. She does that for herself. As you can hear, this is a very useful tool for reaching your goals. Yes, dreams and goals are important, and we talk about them a lot. But the most important thing is that we believe we can reach our goals. Dreams are the plans, but believing in ourselves is what holds us up. It is the fuel that keeps our hopes and dreams going. It's the spark that starts the fire of success. Think about this. Every goal you set for yourself shows that you believe in yourself. By telling yourself, I can do this, you're not just setting a goal. You're also telling yourself that you are valuable and capable. You are telling the universe and yourself that you deserve your dreams. Being sure of what you believe makes you more dedicated to your goals. It makes you determined and unable to be stopped. Self-belief is more than just telling yourself I can. It's also about telling yourself I will, and then showing yourself by doing it. Fighting your doubts and fears and coming out on top is what it's all about. It's about taking responsibility for your journey, loving what makes you different, and enjoying your wins, no matter how small. So, to all the Sigma females out there and to everyone else who is listening, believe in yourself. Grow it and take care of it. Let it be your lighthouse as you find your way to your goals. Being sure of your own abilities opens up a power that can make your dreams come true. Having faith in yourself is powerful, my friends. You can't reach your goals if you keep putting things off. This is called procrastination. It sneaks up on us when we least expect it and takes away valuable time that we could be using to move closer to our goals. Why do we put things off? I guess it's a complicated problem with many causes. Some of us may be afraid of going wrong or even succeeding. Some people may have trouble with perfectionism and wait for the perfect time to start everything. And then there are those of us whose goals are just too big for us to handle. Putting things off can have crippling effects. Stress, guilt, and the feeling of unfinished business are all caused by it. It makes us feel bad about ourselves and stops us from moving forward. Remember though, that it's not an impossible problem. It's just a habit and habits can be broken. How then are we going to beat this smart enemy? Start by breaking tasks up into pieces that you can handle. This makes the job look less difficult and more doable. You can think of it as a thousand mile trip that starts with one step. Next, set the order of your tasks. There are different things on your list that need to be done. Figure out what needs to be done first and do that. So even if you don't finish everything on your list, you'll have at least done the most important things. Set clear due dates as well. We feel compelled to act when we have a deadline, like the clock is ticking. They help us keep our minds on the tasks at hand. Finally, don't forget to give yourself a reward. Don't forget to celebrate your wins, no matter how small they are. These celebrations help keep the good behavior going and make the process fun. Getting over putting things off is a big step toward your goals. You need to take charge of your time and use it to reach your goals. Put things off in the rearview mirror and take the journey to our goals with determination and gusto. Time is the one thing we all have the same amount of, but how we use it can make us stand out. It's like a river. Time flows on and on, whether we use it or not. Now the question is, are we sailing down this river and guiding our boat toward our goals, or are we just floating around without a plan? We can find the answer in how we spend our time. 
Managing our time well is the key to making our journey to success more exciting. We don't need to add more things to our to-do list. We just need to focus on what's most important, making choices about how to spend our time that help us reach our goals is what it's all about. Here are some tips that will help you get good at this art. First, making plans. Imagine that you are in charge of a ship. You need a map to find your way, right? When you plan your time, you have a road map for the day, the week, or even the year. It lets you schedule times for your tasks so that you don't get caught off guard by unplanned chores. Next, make a list of priorities. Not every task is the same. Some are more significant and important than others. Setting priorities helps you pay attention to the most important tasks first, making sure they get the care they need. Remember that being busy isn't what's important. Being useful is. Finally, getting rid of distractions. These days, it only takes a click to get distracted. But keep in mind that every distraction is a thief who takes away valuable time from you. Watch out for these thieves. Set up a place where you won't be interrupted while you're working on important things. There you have it. Three easy but effective steps. Plan, set priorities, and get rid of distractions. You have to practice time management like any other skill, but the benefits are great. You can reach your goals faster than you thought possible if you learn how to manage your time well. Friends, time doesn't wait for anyone, so let's take charge of our lives and sail towards success. Let's make it matter. If you want to make your dreams come true, you have to do something about them. People who set goals often think about the end result, that bright dream they have in their minds. Let's be honest though, what changes things is not the dream itself, but what we do with it. Take a moment to picture that your goal is the top of a mountain. It's easy to see, but it's not enough to just see it. You have to climb it. That's where the power of action comes in. You might be thinking, but the mountain is so big and I'm just one person. How am I going to get to the top? That's where the magic of small actions comes in, my friend. As you can see, every journey, no matter how long or hard, starts with one step. Then there are more. Each step may not seem important by itself, but they all add up. They make a way for you to get to your goal. So don't forget how powerful small things can be. They are what will make you successful. Every action matters, even if it's just taking a deep breath when things get tough, learning a new skill every day for 10 minutes, or being grateful every day. Don't forget that it's not enough to make big moves or huge leaps. You have to be consistent. Every day, even when it's hard or progress seems slow, you have to be there for yourself. Because in the end, it's not the size of the mountain that matters, what matters is your resolve, your grit, and your unwavering faith in yourself. And every step you take, no matter how little, shows that you believe it. So begin right now. First take that first step, then take the next one. You will soon be standing on top of that mountain and seeing the world from a different angle. It's not how big your step is that matters, but how determined you are to take it. We've come a long way on this path to learn more about ourselves and reach our goals. As we've talked about, self-belief is powerful. Putting things off is hard. Time management can help you succeed and taking action has huge effects. We learned that self-belief is more than just a mantra when we looked into its power. It's about knowing how much you're worth and that you deserve to reach for the stars. Getting rid of self-doubt and entering the realm of possibility are the main ideas. We also talked about the common problem of putting things off. A lot of us have to deal with this problem, but it's not impossible to solve. It was talked about in terms of how to get past it and how to turn it from a problem into a chance to succeed. Keeping track of time became an important skill on this journey. It's not enough to just have a lot of things to do. You need to make every moment count. 
To reach your full potential, you need to set priorities, make plans, and keep going. Last but not least, we talked about the power of action. It's easy to dream, but what matters is what you do to make your dreams come true. It's about taking the first step, then the next, and so on. You get closer to your goals with every step, no matter how small. You should now use what you've learned. Don't forget that this isn't just about knowing things. It's also about using what you know. And getting things done is where the magic happens. Let's keep talking about this. Please let me know. I'd like to know what your plans are for the next 3 and 12 months. Please let us know in the comments section down below and click here to watch our quick guide about what makes Sigma females successful. See you there in a second. Be stoic. Stay stoic.